This video is sponsored by Value Testers. Hot preseason promo deals on Baccarat, Testo, Combustion Analyzers. Check out Value Testers for a full preview of specials, deals, and promos. Best tool company on the web, no one compares. Description and link below. Good morning guys, November 26, 2018. This one here I gotta go uh, service a boiler for a friend of mine that just put it in like last year. It's like a, uh, I guess he just put it in for, for a guy. He told me to go by there and service it. So I'm on my way over there. He, he let me use uh, the Bobcat there for, for, the, for my yard. So go take care of it for the guy. I guess it's an oil fired boiler. So we'll go over there and make sure it's running properly and maybe put the combustion analysis on there. Put the old, uh, we'll put the back rack on there. See how it's running. <coughs> Turn left on State Road. Molly's got a new setup here with her bed. I got cardboard against the wall. I got a little blanket and I got her, her little bed in here. Now somebody had sent me a bed. I dropped it off at my house, but it's too big to fit in here. So I had to go, go with this one. This is a little cat bed because I don't have a lot of room here between me and the door here. So it's kind of it's kind of the way it is. So it should be all right. Brand new. It's probably been a couple of years since it's been uh, clean, but we'll check it out. Pull the head oil line. Yeah, the tank's not looking so kosher there. Tank looks not looking so kosher. Tell them about that. I don't want to touch that filter unless I have to. We'll take some pictures of that, send it to the guy, let him see what the hell's going on with the tank. We'll check the oil flow here. Hopefully, we've got a decent flow. I don't want to play around with that. It's not a, it's not a new system. Cat cells fine. But it'll make sure that's not black. It's probably been in a couple of years, probably hasn't been serviced. That's what I'm thinking. any carbon on the head that'll knock it off. Running like this I'll put probably an 80. 80 degree nozzle on it. With this type of this type of fixed head on the burn. I like to run 80s. A little 75 80 in here will be fine. See how that's kind of dirty. We'll see what we're getting for oil flow. See, oh, that's kind of dirty. 
7580, that's what he's got. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather not play with that oil tank because of the way it's leaking like that. 7580, I'd rather not. I'd rather not play with it, to be honest with you. Needs a new tank. I ain't touching the sucker. I don't want it to start leaking on me. Touch that tank, seeing it's leaking like that. I mean, I don't want to touch it. I have to let them know. We'll check our oil flow, see what we got for oil flow here. Make sure it's okay. You ever hear the saying, you're looking for trouble, you're going to find it? Well, you don't want any trouble. I don't want trouble. I do not want any trouble. We'll start the unit up. Then once it starts up, I'll push this button in and it'll go, it'll go through a purge. So I can check the oil flow. Should call for heat. Gives you a little delay. I want to see what I'm getting for oil flow here. Make sure I'm getting a good flow. I'm gonna have to jump it out. I'm not sure. That's not calling. <laughs> we could jump it out right there. Just pull that relight. So we'll just push this in, and then I'll go through a purge. It will start up again. Here. Hearing it. We get a good flow, but there was an air in it. Overhead line. See the air? That's why it was. Uh, that's why it was an issue. Tripped off on safety. That's usually why I like jumping out them controls. It don't give you a lot of it don't give you a lot of time to do your 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 purge, you know, your prime. That's why I, I like that's why you see me jumping these take them out, jump the control out to get a good flow. But we should be alright now. I mean I had a good flow. We'll check our draft over the fire, see what we're doing there with that. Have you guys seen that oil tank? I don't really want to touch that thing. I don't want to touch the oil tank unless I have to. I don't want to be responsible for, for the leak. test around here and see what we're doing. How to drill a hole in a pipe. Alright, I'll get my combustion test and we'll check it. See what we're doing there. to go out in the fresh air and start this thing up. But. I'm going to 
to send some pictures to my buddy about that tank. I mean, it's, it's not something I'm going to touch. I don't want to be responsible for it. Fuel. Number two fuel. And we'll just push start. Run. Seven is good, five, I mean, that's really good right here. I don't want to, if I give it less air, I could bring that CO2 up. But right around 12 is close to smoke, so we have to be careful with that. If it was smoky, that PPM would be right. So look at, what, 80, 85%? I mean, that's really good right here. I didn't touch anything. I mean, it's working great. We're going to just print it and leave it right there. That's really good. And this printer, it's got a little switch on the side on. Okay. Got a printer. And I just hit print there. I'm new to this thing, so. And, uh, I'm gonna print it. Just, uh, I'll put you, I didn't, I didn't set up the date or anything on this machine yet, but I kind of really like this back rack. I mean, very nice. Very, very nice. I really do like it. Well, I like it better than my Testo, just as good. Just as good as the Testo. Hey right, guys, I did the combustion test. I put a new nozzle. I had, um, you know, good oil flow. I did bleed the line, overhead oil line. Good draft over fire, so it's not choked. Combustion test. Will not touch tank leaking. And, uh, I'll, I'll take a picture of this and I'll send it to my, my friend. I don't know if that valve's leaking or what, but I ain't touching that. I ain't touching that. I ain't touching that thing. There ain't no way. I'll send him some pictures of the tag and that, that little leak there. And, uh, let, him tell the, let him tell the homeowner what the story is with that, because I ain't touching that. Alright guys, you just left that job. You know, when a tank's leaking like that, you're better off not touching it. Just tell the homeowner about it and let them make a decision. I mean, if I go and try to change that filter and the thing starts leaking worse, I mean, I'll, I'll be responsible for it. So, there's a lot of old tanks up my way and uh, I have to, you have to be careful. You have to use your brain, you know. Tell the, tell the homeowner he needs a new tank and if he wants to do it, this, this guy here, he's a... Uh, He's actually a plumber, so he's uh, he can take care of it himself. So I let him know, let him know what's going on with it, and uh, he's gonna change it out. So I don't take a chance, you know. So, sometimes I take chances out here in the field where I feel that it's it's worth me taking a chance. A lot of times I don't want to take a chance. I mean, it's a it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Uh, I have to do what I'm comfortable doing. And what I'm not comfortable doing, I don't do. I mean, that's the same thing with you. You're gonna do a job, you have to make a decision, you know? If it goes bad, you're gonna eat the shit sandwich, not me. I mean, it depends on, you know, you, you take a chance on what you think is, is gonna work. You have to, it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Nobody wants to eat the shit sandwich. Oh, not me, I don't want it. I don't want it. No way. I don't want the shit sandwich. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. 